Welcome back. In this particular video, I am going to discuss how can we write a Python program for displaying first and multiples without using a loop. And I am sure that this video is going to be very interesting and knowledgeable. And also, after watching this video, we will come to know how powerful Python programming is and definitely will help you to enhance your programming skills. Hello everybody, this is Sanjay and welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Tip Now. So, let's learn and learn and learn and learn and learn. But before that, I would like to request you that please subscribe my channel if you haven't yet. And if you really like this video, then don't forget to like and share it as well. So, let's move to my on-screen board and there I try to explain you these things. So, first of all, what I am going to do is that I'll make this program using a loop. And after that, I'll try to explain you, you know, how can we write the same program without using a loop. Now, first of all, we all know that, you know, whenever we talk about the multiple, we all know that say there is a number 2 and I want to find its multiple. So, it would be definitely 2, 4, 6, 8 and all. Similarly, if you take 6, so it will be like 6, 12, 18 and all. So, now the question is that if I want to write this in the Python. So, obviously, you can see or observe that, you know, first of all, you have to accept a number in uh, say n and then after you have to tell you know how many number of times you want to have the multiples so what can i do i'm just making a simple program first first of all i write this n and i'm converting it into int and then i'm taking this input function and inside this i simply take a message like enter a number and then after i'm just taking say l and here i'm mentioning that please enter the length of multiple so I'm just taking it to enter length of you know multiple right and then what I do I'll start a loop because I want to find its multiplication so definitely I'll start this for i in range where I'll show it that my loop will start 1 and then up to length I will run this so I will simply write this length and because if I take it to length, so it will run up to length minus 1. That's why I am taking this length plus 1 and then this colon. And here you can simply write print. My number is in n multiplied by i. That's it. So when you try to execute this program, definitely you will get the multiples. So this is what the very basic way where I am taking this for loop. Right. So let's run this program first. Then after we will come to this main topic without using loop so this is my program which i have already written in this python shell so let's try to run this now here it is asking for the number you want to have multiple so i am just taking it to four how many times you want to display multiples i am taking it to say six times so now you can see the result is coming properly four eight twelve and all so this is how we can write you know very basic program now the question is you know how can we write you know without using loop so now first of all I am going to tell you that you know I will use the concept of first of all range function and also take the variable length argument that is known as what ARGS and ARGV. There are two different kind of arguments we can use which are basically known as what variable length argument. And if you want to see it in detail you can just click on the link given in the i button and get this video right. So let's come back to my main topic and that was like I said you know I'll use this range function and ARGS. Now first of all you can ask me you know how can these two will help me to write program for this multiples without using a loop. So first of all I just try to make you understand that you know how can I use this range with this as ARGS. Now see the magic what I do I just initialize this n with this range and here I just mentioned this 5. So now if I try to display this like print and if I take this n here, let's see what happens. So what I do, I just go to Python shell and there I try to explain this. So now you see this is my program and if I try to run this, then you see nothing is coming. It is simply saying uh, that range from 0 up to 5. Now if I put this asterisk in front of n, then see what happens. So now you can see the magic. Now here it is saying that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is displaying the things. So it means that you know if you make this variable to variable length argument then the range function will send all the numbers which is starting from 0 up to the given number and then you can observe the result how it is coming. So now using this particular concept I am going to make program for multiples. So 
how can we do this let's see first of all i'll just accept a number into my n variable say int and then i'll convert it into input and simply put this message enter a number right and then after i'll say you know what is the length of my multiples so i'll just take it to say again input and enter length of multiple and then what i do i just take a variable say result where i'll accept this range function and inside this range i'll say that because now we know that n is say 3 and l is say 4 so it will be like 3 then 6 then 9 then 12 means loop will run up loop will run up to 12 so i can simply say that my starting value would be n and then after it will run up to n into l times and i have to add one also so it means that 3 into 4 12 so i'll run this loop up to 12 and then every time it will be incremented by the same value that is n so i'll just take it to n here and after that i'll simply take this print and there i simply take this result and that's it so now when you run this program you will see it will show you what say if you have entered 3 and 4 3 and 6 9 and 12 so let's go to python shell and there also we try to execute this so this is my program and here i just mentioned like you know enter the number to get multiples and the length of the multiple to display it and taking this into the range function i'm trying to display using this you know making this to variable length. now go to this run and just try to execute this program then see it is saying that enter the number to get the multiple so i am taking it to 5 and here it is saying the length of multiple so i am taking this to 8 now see the magic now it is showing you the like you know 5 10 15 and all so this is how i mean we can write program to display multiples of a given number without using a loop so you can simply ask you know what it is doing exactly like this asterisk result you know what is the reason behind it that it is showing all the details when you write this result in this way what happens it is actually equivalent to say you know print then space then join and inside this join it will be like stri like we all know that you know when we use for loop we take a variable so stri and it it is be it will be like you know for i in ring actually it is joining this value of i with this space after converting this into a string and there it is like for i in range and obviously range will be n comma n multiplied by l plus 1 comma n right so when you write print star result this will be like this one and why this range is this because we have already taken you know this range n and all that into this result variable right so this will be the final expression so i hope now you will be able to understand you know how the things is converting you know into loop so now i hope that it this will definitely help you to in enhance your programming skill so that's it for this session so keep practicing keep learning and thank you for watching this video